Good morning. It's definitely warmer than it looks like. There's a lot of fog. It's super wet. And Hero Turion saved the both of us last night from any evil creature. Nine o'clock and we are back on the road. And well, we will entering the national park soon in the search of flamingos and well, I'm very excited and it was really beautiful here it's very very nice even we are at the moment we are not in the national park because we can hear there's the street but soon we are in um, and then well I will see distant a rose cl colored cloud of birds but I wasn't really sure because it was the morning sun I couldn't see it really well but the color I was pretty much sure and then they were flying over my head <laughs> I was so so surprised I was not expecting that the last time I saw flamingos in wildlife was when I was 20 years old in Lake Bogoria uh, which was in Kenya or in Tanzania and uh, and <laughs> wow I'm, I'm still really impressed we have seen flamingos in Europe in the wildlife I never thought about that. <laughs> and Turion becomes a master of finding pheasants. I don't know if I pronounce it correct now. Really colorful birds, very tastefully. And they are really great. And every day, five or six times, he finds them. The way Turion stands and looks, I can tell he found another one. Ah, difficult decisions. I would love to hike to Porto Levante. But I checked the map now and the satellite pictures, which are really helpful. And I discovered that there is no bridge. As so often here in Italy, there are no bridges. Um, but there's a ferry boat. But the internet tells me, and it was a text from May this year, that the ferry boat is not working. So I really don't know what to do now. These are seven kilometers to hike there. Uh, I really don't know. <laughs> so follow your heart, follow your heart, follow your in instincts. Things changed completely now after I talked to a, to a guy here 
he was not really sure if the ferry boat is still running but he said you know the season is over the restaurants in Porto Levante are closed and he don't think that the ferry boat is working so I decide now to uh, to take a, a different route and the hotel I wanted to go they offered yesterday rooms for 30 euros a night yeah but today they cost 50 euros a night so I cancelled that too and I was searching for something else and now I found Bianca's bed and breakfast which is 18 kilometers away from here in the little village Adria and uh, and so we hiked 10 this morning, now it's 12, 18 for the rest of the day, this is working and well, this is not too much, so we will do this. It's a little bit a shame now because I wanted to see more flamingos, but well, at least I have seen some and I know they are existing, <laughs> so everything is good. And we are looking forward to Bianca's bed and breakfast. This one is dead. was a big villa, a murder place, it could be everything. And you have a lot of them here in Italy. It's really very interesting. It happens now the second or the third time that people talked to me and, and then they told me where they have seen me in the past two or three weeks and uh, and even right now a guy uh, passed by with his car and he was a tent neighbor in some days ago and uh, yeah and really funny but you see that the road here is not funny. I've got still six kilometers or something, to, or seven to go, and then we made it. Because yesterday it was working out so well with the scratch card, I will try it today again. Maybe I will triple that euro I paid for. Oh no, this time nothing. Well, I cannot win every day. So this is the house for tonight. Bed and breakfast. Bianca. Look at this, a dream. I would love to have that in Germany. So, my hosts are really very nice and very kind. They drove me to the supermarket uh, and here, even the needle here, would be a reason to move here. The fish part, it's really amazing. And so I could buy something to eat for today and tomorrow because I will stay here for tomorrow too because I have to write something. I got a call and a very desperate lady and she asked me if I could write her something. So I will do this and uh, and anyway, it will rain tomorrow all day long. That's what my host just told me and um, then I will see. And guess who took advantage of the big amount of beds I have got here in this room? Yes, him, he, Julian. And this few 
doesn't show any guilt. Not at all. So it's an exception. You can stay.